Sometimes your wishes do come true. Let's check in with Chief Meteorologist Kevin Robinson now with what we can expect uh, for the rest of the evening. Hey, Kev. Hey, good evening, Mike and Sheree. Well, conditions to dry out across the area. I guess if it had to rain today, it rained at the perfect time right after the morning commute and it got out of here right before the evening commute. So here's a live check on radar right now. It is on a clean sweep. As you'll see, we are done with the rain at least through the upcoming weekend. Here's a live look from high atop Karoo Tower tonight. Just a few clouds left over as that weather maker moves away. These clear skies, those spell trouble for what will be a chilly night. Right now we're 50 officially at the airport. We've got ourselves a west wind. Again, that rain wasn't terribly heavy today, officially at least at the airport, only eight hundredths of an inch of rainfall. Around the area, temperatures beginning to fall back now into the 40s. It's found to 47 in Blanchester, 49 Mason, Loveland, Batavia, 50 in Springboro. Hamilton's coming in at 51, 52 in Maysville, 49 in Verona and Walton, 48 in Batesville and over in Brookville and southeast Indiana. So here's a look at your evening forecast. Skies are clearing out, it's drying out, and it's going to be cooling off as well. Temperatures will be tumbling their way through the 40s here during the dinner time hours. There's the rain, that weak weather system quickly getting out of here, and you can see how just as quickly behind it, skies are clearing now from west to east. So if you're to the east of Cincinnati and you're still kind of stuck in the cloud, cover. Give it an hour or two. Skies are going to clear up for you as well, and it should be a quiet night, and we're heading into what will be a beautiful first full weekend of December. Check out Futurecast. You can see behind me not much to really show you here with the clear skies and due to all the moisture in the air tonight, I suspect it will be fairly frosty first thing tomorrow morning. So you might need those ice scrapers if you park outside. Give yourself a little extra time to warm that car up in the morning. But otherwise, a beautiful Friday. It will be cooler than it has been as of late. But given the fact that it's early December, I'll take temperatures close to 50. Looks like a cold Friday night and then a beautiful Saturday with lots of sunshine, just a few high clouds scooting by. We've really got fairly benign weather here through the entire weekend. So clear and chilly tonight, frosty will drop to a low of around 31 by morning. And then for your Friday, your happy TGIF, cool sunshine, nice day. Afternoon high in the upper 40s, close to 50 tomorrow. Here's a look at your day planner. Frosty start in the morning with temperatures near freezing. We'll climb to the mid 40s by lunchtime, upper 40s during the afternoon, and then set our way up for a chilly night tomorrow night as we tumble back into the 40s. Here's a look at your seven day forecast. It's cold again tomorrow night as we drop down to 30. Nice looking weekend with temperatures generally between 50 and 55 for both Saturday and Sunday. The nights over the weekend expect them to be seasonal reasonably cold. Now as we head into Monday, we've got that big football game between the Bengals and Steelers. Still my forecast holds. I think for the majority of the game, it's going to be relatively dry. There may be some showers around. Doesn't look very wet. Temperatures look like they'll be between 55 and 60 Monday evening. Then that big weather pattern change that's been well advertised. We've been talking about this now for about two weeks. We are going to see a complete well, really flip in the overall weather pattern and we're going to go from mild to very cold very quickly next week and it looks like afternoon highs by Wednesday and Thursday of next week likely to drop into the 30s and maybe not even climb above freezing and I think Mike and Shree this is just literally I guess the proverbial tip of the iceberg because beyond the seven day forecast it only gets colder and yes those are snow showers in there by this time next week. All right. We'll try to brace for it, Kevin. <laughs> Hopefully it's flurries, not real, not a bunch of snow.